played on so bad job. Home? Ah. What's the tea ready? No, it's not ready yet. It'll be ready in a minute, though. But I want to talk to you first, Mark. Why, what's happened now? I've had an erotic adventure. So what happened then? The gas man and his mate come up, give us a threesome. Oh, no, love, it wasn't like that. Blast the bloody kettle. So what do you mean, an erotic adventure? Tom, I, I, I don't even know where to start. We'll try at the beginning. Well, I went out shopping today, just as I usually do. Well, that's erotic for a start. Look, love, do you want to hear what I've got to say or not? Because, darling, I'm so mixed up, I just don't know even where to start. I'm sorry, love. love. Yes, it was all quite ordinary to start with. I went into the butchers and bought you some very nice chops. And then I had a natter with the lady in the green go eaters. She does go on, doesn't she? Then I went into that news agent's. I bought some mints, and when I came out again, I wasn't looking where I was going. You know what I'm like. Well, I banged headlong into this girl. She was loaded with shopping, and I knocked it flying. So there we were, shopping on the floor, and me apologising for all I was worth. I felt awful, Tom. She had half a dozen eggs in a paper bag, and they were smashed, and eggs are quite pricey these days, aren't they? Why they didn't put them in a proper container, I'll never know. She was being nice about it, but I had smashed her eggs. Everything else was all right, though. She kept saying it was her fault, and I was saying it was mine. And anyway, I wouldn't let her go and buy another lot, and she wouldn't let me pay for them. Aren't some women silly? So I said to her, look, dear, I live in the bungalow down the road, and I've got a dozen eggs in the fridge. Please let me replace them. Well, the long and the short of it was, I bullied her until she agreed to come in for a coffee. Oh, did it? No, it didn't. Make sure you extend your container so this time, if you work them, they might not break. Thank you. Two my husband says I'm not sweet enough. What's that? What? That big thing there with all the laces on. Oh, it's my portfolio. It was stupid of me to carry it out shopping with me. I've just been to see a client. Are well, you an artist? Yes. Oh, I used to be a singer before I got married. Did you? You're not very talkative, are you? May I have a look?
paint all sorts of things. I'm a commercial artist, you see. I just paint whatever my clients want me to paint. It's a book design, you see. Oh, I'm black and white. Yes. yes it's a portrait. She's very pretty. I'm not sure. That was an illustration for a book for children. That's sweet. myself as a model for that one. It makes you look really sexy. My husband is like that. How did you get it from that angle? It's quite easy. I just stood over a mirror. I couldn't afford a model. And the ones in the live class aren't exactly glamorous. So I posed for it myself. It was for a glossy mag. Yeah. Yes, I can see that. You should see Tom's collection. I've been knocking my brains out to sort out what to get for Tom's birthday next week. How much would you charge to paint a drawing of me like that? Oh, it depends on how long it takes me. Detail, you know, that sort of thing. Do you think you could do one of me from that angle? I only want a little one. Yes, of course I could. Provided I had sketches to work from. Damn, all the, pit all the mirrors in our house are all fixed to the wall. I don't need a mirror to sketch you like that. You don't? No. You could, um, you want to stand up on that table. Would you do it? Let's have a look at you first. Take your skirt and blouse off and go and stand over there. 